Hi, kindergarten friends, how are you? We are here, Miss Jess and Mrs. Smith, we're here to do our first circle time. We're so excited to be here with you and to be doing some learning in this way. So we have so much learning to do today. We're gonna kind of set up our week and talk to you about the things that are connected to our learning plan for the week. So we're gonna start off with our afternoon song. We're gonna sing this as good afternoon because normally we do our learning in the afternoon. But if you wanna change it to good morning, if you're watching this in the morning, then you can do that too. So it goes like this. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to kindergarten. Good afternoon to you. Thanks for singing that song with me. It's all you. When we do lessons, Every time we want you to have your fine motor journal with you. We were going to show them that. Yes. That was part of yours. <laughs> I was supposed to say that. <laughs> That's okay. So fine motor journals. If, uh, yes, always when we're doing a circle time or any kind of lesson, you're going to need this in front of you. So we're not using it yet. We'll let you know uh, when we get to the part of the video where you need this. But if you don't have it, feel free to pause and go grab that. So we want to do a feelings check-in. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling happy, positive feelings? Are you kind of feeling in between? Are you feeling negative, uncomfortable feelings? Hmm. All feelings are okay. We just want to check in and see how you're doing. That's right. And it's always important to talk to people about your feelings too. Okay, friends. So we have our four letters for the week. So each week, we only have a four day week. So each day we have a new letter. So I'm going to go over the letters that we have for the week. Our first letter is, what's this letter, friends? This is the letter P. So I want you in the air to draw a P with me. It's a big line down, frog jump to the top, little curve. If you wanna go ahead and practice writing the letter P in your fine motor journal, you can pause the video, write some P's, and then play it again for the next letter. And P for pig. Our next letter for the week is the letter Q. And Q says qu, qu, like queen. So for to do a Q, it's a magic C, close it up to make a O, and then there's a little line to make the Q. So it's an O with a little line. Okay, and it says qu, qu, qu. Practice writing those in your fine motor journal. What letter is this, friends? If you said R, you're right, it's R for rhino. When you make an R, it's a, like the letter P, it's a big line down, frog jump to the top, little curve, little line. Big line down, frog jump to the top, little curve, little line. What sound does R make? R. And it's not R, it's R. I was just gonna say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a different sound. R is a different sound. It's R. Okay, this is a fun letter. It's the letter. What is it, friends? If you said S, you're right. Let's make an S. So it's a, it's like a little C, and we go around and back up, S and back up. Okay. What sound does S make? S. That's right. You push the. Push the air through your teeth. Your mouth is closed when you make the letter S. So you should have four letters written in your fine motor journal, okay? And friends, when we ask for you to write things in your fine motor journal, uh, send a picture in your weekly letter, or in the assignments that you have for the week. Give us a picture of the page that you wrote during our circle tap. Awesome. So the number of the day, the number of the week is Three. Okay, so you can practice writing some threes. They are just little curves. So a little curve and then a little curve. We forgot to sing our, where do we start our letter song? Oh yes, where do we start our letters? At the Jess? top. At the top, let's sing it. Let's sing. Where do, do you, you start, start your letters, letters at the top? Where do you start your letters at the top? If you're gonna write a letter, then you better, better, better remember to start it at the top. And it's the same for numbers, isn't it? It is. Okay, thanks, All right. Jess. And our number three looks like this <clears throat> on a 10 frame. So we have one, two, three. And I always ask my friends, 
How many empty ones? Hmm, can you pause it and count? Mrs. Smith, how many empty ones? Hmm, well, I see five on the bottom and two on the top. Five and two is seven. Seven. Wow. Okay, now let's do three. Ready? We're going to clap three times. And... Did you stop? Good job. Now we're going to jump three times. Ready? One, two, three. Good job, kindergarten friends. All right. And can you show me three fingers? You can go like this. You can go like this. You can do... Anyway, there's lots of different ways to show three. Oh, yeah. Good one. <laughs> Good one. All right. And the other thing that kind of relates to three is our triangle. It's our shape of the day, week. <laughs> so, hmm, triangle. How many sides? Ah, you're right. There are three. How many corners? Mm -hmm. There are three corners as well. Wow, I like triangles. When I see triangles, I see them lots. I see them in pizzas, or in hangers, or on signs, or sails, or flags. Oh, that's a cat ear. Wow, where can you find triangles? And we want you to write some threes and draw some triangles in your fine motor journal. And friends, you can keep all of this work on the same page. You don't need a new page for each thing. You can have a page for the day of circle time and have all of the information on there. So your letters, your number, and your shapes all on one page, okay? All right, so friends, our color of the week is blue. This is my favorite color. Who loves the color blue? Do you love the color blue? Lots of you do. Okay, I have a song to teach you about the color blue. It goes like this. Actually, I'll do this so you can see. It goes B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. Hi-ho, did you know B-L-U-E spells blue? The big sky is blue. The ocean is too. Hi-ho, did you know B-L-U-E spells blue? Now friends, I want you to draw three things in your fine motor journal that are blue. And I have a really fun activity for you to do. I want you to pause the video and you're gonna run around your house and touch at least three things that are blue. Ready, go! One, two, three, three. all of them. There's some, oh, two. and there's some blue, and there's some blue. You can do more than three if you find three. Okay, you're back. Did you find three blue things? That's sure a fun activity to do. Okay, so our learning this week. So last week we talked a lot about Thanksgiving and being thankful. And I want to treat, uh, teach you <clears throat> a new word about uh, that means the same thing as being thankful. It's called grateful or having gratitude. Okay, so it means that you appreciate the things that you have and you're thankful for the things that you have. So if we say thankful or we say grateful, they're both the same kind of thing, okay? So you'll see me uh, reading in our lessons. I have this book that I'm, story that I'm sharing with you. It's called The Grateful Book, okay? And then there's also a, a link to another story called um, The Gratitude Jar. And so you're, you're going to fill in your jar, draw things that you are grateful for, Okay, and we're also going to be making an actual jar so that we can put things in there and this will be something, this will be a project that we'll be working on throughout the year and will kind of be an ongoing thing. The other fun thing that we're doing this week is a gratitude scavenger hunt. So this is a whole list of things that you're going to go around and find or have conversations about, talk about things that you're grateful for. So maybe you're gonna find something that's your favorite color, find something that tastes good, find your favorite spot to go to, that sort of thing. There's a whole list of things to do here, okay? Now we have a song to sing to you about being grateful. Will you sing this song with me, Miss Jess? I will. Okay, it's to the tune of Jingle Bells. Do you know the song Jingle Bells? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know it too? Yep. Yeah, me too. Okay, so we're gonna sing it. It goes like this. It goes, appreciate what you have. Thank others every day. 
Oh, what fun it is to give, be grateful, it's the way. Hey! All right, friends, should we sing it again, Miss Jess? So. Let's sing it again, friends. If you feel ready to sing it with us, you go ahead, and if you want to watch this part of the video over again to learn the song, that's okay, too. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Appreciate what you have, thank others every day. Oh, what fun it is to give, be grateful, it's the way. Hey! And it is really important to be grateful and fill our hearts with gratitude. Okay. All right. Now, we did a, I did a drawing with you, a how to draw a turkey, okay? So my turkey doesn't have any color, but I can't wait to see yours after you draw it with me. And I also read you a book called Thanks for Thanksgiving. And it's an awesome book. There's lots of really good things in it. But as Miss, Mrs. Smith, I was gonna call you Waylon, uh, pointed out it's Canadian which is really great too okay and I think that's that was it it was just you that you probably spent some time this weekend whether you celebrate Thanksgiving or not you probably had some things to be thankful for and to be grateful for so mm -hmm. that book reminds us of some of those things mm -hmm. especially in the fall and the beautiful fall weather that we've been having yeah. Miss Jess I actually think it's time for us to say goodbye Okay, that was really fun. Should we sing our goodbye song, friends? Okay. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. My friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. We'll see you again. We'll see you again. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. My friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Bye, kindergarten friends. Thanks so much for joining us for our first circle time. This week we're doing it together. I think next week we might be doing it uh, separate. Miss Jess will have her own and Mrs. Smith will have her own. So sometimes we might come together, but today, or yeah, moving forward, we'll just, it'll just be us. So thanks again. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.